good morning guys good morning it's early it's like four something i'm just coming on to pray for our month of december that's coming up um i was gonna wait until like a couple of days but the lord said right here get up pray and release the december prayer in jesus name amen so that's what we're gonna do and we're still you know in the month of november i've seen god move on the november prayer he's still moving many of you have even testified that he's been moving and he's still moving i want to encourage you all to hold fast to god and what you're believing him for and what he promised he would do because god honors faith and faith is now and god is moving for you right now god can still blow your mind before this month ends but for december the lord said that the scripture is psalms 94 and also he said miracles miracles for the month of december comfort divine instruction and divine intervention of course those are not the only things that he's going to do but that's what he gave me to release for the month of december for his people corporately you know so father god we thank you in jesus name that our december will be a month of miracles we thank you lord in the name of jesus for your comfort throughout that month we thank you god for um, divine instruction father god that we'll be obedient unto you that we'll be obedient to what you show us father god that we'll be obedient unto your instruction as uh, you gave them instruction with the walls of jericho in um cities that were fortified were broken down in other instances in supernatural provision and obedience brought brought the blessing and it brings the blessing we see that all throughout the word and god we just thank you for divine intervention for intervening father god on our behalf in the spirit and natural realm we bless you for this father god this is your word and we thank you for doing it father god in the name of jesus amen that's what he said guys that's what he said amen so psalms 94 and just as, as simple as that but powerful so amen psalms 94 we're going to read that's um our foundational scripture for this month and the Lord was saying some other things to me personally. He didn't say to release. But I'm telling you, God does not play about his children. Let me just say that. Let me just say that. So, I don't know who that's for. But hold fast to God and trust him. Because God is getting ready to turn some things around. And you a child of God, let me just say. Stay on the Lord's side. Because he don't play about his children. Because he's getting ready to deal and expose and do a lot of different things amen so psalms 94 guys it says and i said god what's the scripture you know and he said this and i was like huh and he said yeah read it okay so oh lord the god who avenges oh god who avenges shine forth rise up O judge of the earth pay back to the proud what they deserve how long will the wicked O lord how long will the wicked be jubilant they pour out arrogant words. All the evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the alien. They murder the fatherless. And what we're praying, we're seeing, but we're going to see God move unlike ever before in, in this next month. This is for the body of Christ. This is for God's people. God is a God of justice. Amen. We're going to see God move. And many of you, I'm going to continue reading. Many of you are going to see God move for you personally unlike ever before. You're not going to go into um, the January year on the Gregorian calendar. Like, it's just going to be different for you. You're not going to go into it. Many of you, you're not going to go into it based off how it looks now. You know, many of you have seen rapid shifts in God move and back his word. You know, God is faithful. Okay, so they slay the widow and the alien that god said for many of you divine shifts and also for many of you um because of your level of sacrifice to god like with your life and your testing and different things you've been through you get ready to see god move for you like ever before this is a corporate word of what he's doing you know but it's going to be different for many of you also it's going to be different things that god does for you that, that god does for you guys in addition to his, these things right Okay, so they slay the widow and the alien. They murder the fatherless. They say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob pays no heed. 
Take heed, you senseless ones among the people. You fools, when will you become wise? Does he who implanted the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches man lack knowledge? The Lord knows the thoughts of man. He knows that they are futile. Blessed is the man you discipline, O Lord, the man you teach from your law. You grant him relief from days of trouble, till a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will stand? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? And I'm going to keep releasing the word. And it's like, you know, we all see what's going on in this world today. We all see the times that we're living in. We all see the things that's happening. God is standing up for his people. It's not that he ever sat down, but he's going to stand up unlike ever before, guys. You know, I know we have other prayers and videos talking about different things, but let me just continue to read. Unless the Lord had given me help, I would soon have dealt dwelt in the silence of death when i said my foot is slipping your love O oh lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought joy to my soul can a corrupt throne be allied with you excuse me one that brings on misery by its decrees they bend together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death but the lord has become my fortress and my god the rock in whom i take refuge he will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. In Jesus' name, amen. So that is our prayer for the month of December. I'm praying for you guys every day. We believe God. I believe God. Let's even say a general prayer. I believe that God will bless you. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking that the Lord touch your soul right now. That he touch your spirit. He touch every of your life, your finances. Um, you're on your job, business, career, your ministry, your gifts, talents, purpose, amen, um, your family, relationships, all areas concerning you, that whatever needs to be broken in you, in you and in your life, be broken and whatever needs to be opened up, be open in the name of Jesus, whatever needs to open, open and whatever needs to close, close, and that you just go to another place of deeper intimacy with God, um, surrender, amen, whatever that looks like for you another level of blessings that god has for you in the name of jesus and that god just have his way because so many great things happen when god have his way and when you see the results of why god had to have his way you know so in jesus name i pray amen and you guys be blessed our december theme you guys know is a totally different thing we've announced it before um so you guys look forward to those videos soon amen i love you guys god bless you have a beautiful day and a peaceful weekend god bless